Hi guys, hi everybody, hello Dala, hi April, oh, we've got a bit of a glare with that there haven't we, okay, hello Anne, I'll just wait for a few more to come in guys, hello Susie, nice of you to, to join us, hello Jessica and Pat, Yes, hello April, I hope you're okay. Hello Cathy, long time no speak. Hello Darla. Hello 78 shiny star. Hi Joey, hello Morticia. Neferkit, hi, how are you doing? And Louise, hello Louise. Hello Shelley. Being a bit crazy of the Cathy, wow. Hi, guys. I'm not so bad, thank you. Hi, Cynthia. Good morning, MB. How are you, Shannon, darling? Okay. Yeah, me too, and I hope everybody's okay. <clears throat> oh, good, Shannon. Thanks, Gary. Cheers, mate. <laughs> How <are> you, Jane? <clears throat> I've been a bit rushed today, guys. Um, I hope it's okay, but I haven't put any links on yet. And it's typical that I... Um, I've got a new feature to show you all, and um, I've not been able to put the links up, but if you please bear with me, I'll be able to show them um, as soon as the stream's finished. <clears throat> Hi, Gary H. Hello, Charlotte. Hello, Michelle. Good morning to you. Good afternoon to me. Hope everything's okay with you. Yeah, I've just watched Susie's latest video as well. It was good, wasn't it? Hello, Randy. Yes, I hope everything's okay with you too. I know you aren't, you weren't too clever the other week, was you? So I hope uh, I hope things have improved for you. Hello, Sung. Nice of you to join us, darling. Hi, Pamela. <clears throat> I better put that on live chat, hadn't I? <laughs> it's uh, it's got a mind of its own. This thing it just puts it in live or uh, top chat on its own. <clears throat> hey, Artsy. Nice of you to join us. I hope you're okay. Oh, that's uh, that's good, Shelley. That's a long time as well, isn't it, Hunk? A very long time. <clears throat> Hello, Tracy. That is wobbling something chronic, isn't it? And I know why. <laughs> That should. Spare with me, guys. 
that will be a lot better. It's because uh, the tripod leg was caught under the um, under the table ridge, and every time I moved, it was wobbling the tripod. So uh, while I remember, also I will um, change the camera settings to uh, take the autofocus off, which I've just done. So that should make it a little bit more bearable as far as the uh, the pulsating is concerned. Hello, Benita. <clears throat> Just give it a few more minutes, guys, and then we'll uh, we'll start off, and I'll I'll explain what we're doing. Hello, Shamira six six six. Great to catch you. Yes, uh, I'm glad you've managed to catch us as well. I know it does pulsate. <laughs> it's like an heartbeat. So who do I have in, as far as mods? I've got Shannon and uh, Morticia, so that's enough for the moment. We've got 44 in at the moment, guys. I've just changed it, Kathy, so hopefully it's um, it's managed to uh, rectify that problem. If you don't take the autofocus off and you um, put something white on, uh, it really does go to town on you for whatever reason. Hello, great art. So nice of you to join us. So we've got a good three hours today, guys. So we've no uh, we've no rush, no schedule to uh, to keep to. Oh, thank you so much, Shamira. That is so kind of you. Thank you very much indeed. That will go straight towards the channel. Thank you so much. That's really, really kind of you. Thank you. Hello, Melody, darling. How are you? I hope, I hope you're okay. <clears throat> and thanks for that again, Shamira. That is really, really kind of you. Thank you. Like I say, it all goes to the channel, as you'll see shortly. Uh, I've just... Um, I've just managed to... Um, get my new uh, affiliate money and um i've got what i've done this time guys is rather than get something big like i did last time uh, i've gone budget on you and um i've got quite a lot of um inexpensive um supplies and um and books uh, and what i've tried to do guys is um obviously find the ones that are in the sale as well um and then obviously if anything comes across while we're swatching because we've got lots to swatch today so it's going to be predominantly a swatching video but and obviously an interactive one as well uh we may well have to name uh colors and things like that um but i've got quite a lot of um what you would call sort of sample packs uh i've also got the uh the uk uh i don't know if it's an exclusive or not but i've not seen another one I've got the um, the Colour Morphia book, the UK version. Um, <laughs> Jinx, Shannon. Yeah, I think we might be because I haven't opened anything yet, so I've left it for the for the actual uh, channel. So of course, once we open stuff, we'll be able to see what's named and what isn't. Um, and Susie's very good at naming colours, so uh, we've got the right person in the house. Hello, Michelle. So nice of you to join us. Thank you. Hi, Pickle. Nice of you to join us. So for those just coming in, guys, that um, have just missed what today's about is... Um, the affiliate money this month and Happy Mail... Um, I've got some Happy Mail, sorry... And the affiliate money this month has gone in a different direction to what it did last month. Last month was a very uh, uh, a busy one. And um, 
I didn't, Charlotte. Where where did you comment about that? Sorry, hon. Um, so yeah, for those coming in, I've I've got I've been searching through Amazon the last few days and found things that are in uh, the sale, and um, I've spent the Amazon money on little kind of sample packs that we can swatch on channel, and then we can uh, move forward. If we like any of those uh, products, we can uh, talk about getting them. Hello, Mish. Hello, Mary. So nice of you all to join us. So that's kind of what's in store today. Hello, Sonia. Uh, we will be finishing off my, uh, sorry, we will be doing uh, more work on um, the butterfly for, hello, Nana. Lovely for you to join. Yeah, we'll be doing more work on the butterfly for Dandy Morphia. Um, and then on the last stream, I, um, I used the budget Crayola uh, skin tones on one of these, uh, plastic palettes because they were water-based and I cut some of these up I don't know if you remember uh, the book and is the uh, Imagine Morphia poster book by Kirby um, this one so obviously it's a bigger one than the one that's in the book that's why it's taking so long hi CB Oh, thank you, Randy. So, yeah, we've got all these little stuff to try, guys. But what I um, didn't have time to do today was put all the links in prior to streaming. Uh, I've I've worked all weekend this weekend. I worked Saturday yesterday, and uh, I've done two hours today. Um... <laughs> nice one, Sonia. So, um, hello, Elizabeth. So today, moving forward, uh, will be about uh, showing the um, happy mail that I've got. Uh, there's a bit of happy mail. Showing um, these budget supplies that I've got, sw swatching them uh, out, and, um, and then trying to see whether we actually like them or not. Um, yeah, I took it apart and uh, cut it all up, didn't I, Michelle? So I've got... So that's the image from that. I don't know if you remember me doing that. Um, I've I've um, I've not and I've not added pencil to anything else other than the face at the moment. Oh, thank you, Sandy. Hello, and join uh, for joining. Hi, Christine. So yeah, with this one, guys. This one was done in the um, in the Leslie Smitheringale book that I came across. Um, it's called the Fairies of Water Lily Woods, and um, and what I did was I, I cut the box of the pencil sharpener up to make some um, to make some square type palette sized uh, pieces of plastic, so that we could use the budget Crayola skin tones on the image as a base, and then of course since then I've um, I've done a bit to the background. Hello, Katie. And, um, you know, we've got plenty there to go out with a bit of pencil to, uh, to, to, to make it stand out a little bit more. So I hope you like that. And then, of course, we've got the butterfly as well uh, from Kirby, which is this one. Uh, is everything okay, Pickle? Are you not so good? Sorry, I missed. Uh, hello, Loretta. So, yeah, guys, what I've done with all these little packs is kind of left them till the last minute so that I can open them on stream, get them swatched out, and um, hopefully trying to put some... Um, some items out there in, in the community that's that's not really uh, used that often and see if we can come up with any gems really more than anything. I know it's a risk uh, purchasing these kind of things that's untried, um, but I thought this time with the affiliate money, it was better to do that than actually buy something that's tried and tested uh, that somebody may not be able to afford either. Uh, pain just being a pain today. Dave. Oh, I'm sorry about that, Pickle. I hope you feel better soon. 
uh, get some painkillers and get some rest and, uh, you know, and great's not so well either. Oh, gosh. Okay, guys, we've got 70 in at the moment, so I think it's okay to proceed now. Um, so, first of all, I just want to show you some books. And so I'm not repeating myself over and over again. Um, and I think my mods will be able to uh, will be able to help you along the way for people who are coming in and be able to repost. Uh, the, the links to all the products will be put uh, after the stream is finished. Um, just so that it gives me more time with you guys. And then after it's done, I can watch Christine uh, and then obviously put the uh, put the items on afterwards. Is that okay with everyone? Okay, guys. So uh, the first things I want to show you then are, uh, are these few books. Um, this is the uh, Magic World book. Uh, it's The Magic World and Amazing Mythical Animals. It's an adult colouring book. Uh, and it's not actually got the uh, the publisher on here. Uh, but I got it because I, I looked at the, um, the icons. Uh, let's see who the publisher is. Red Skull Publishing. So that's something I've not heard of uh, before. Uh, I start anytime between three and four uh, UK time, Sandy. So don't ask me what that is in your um, in your time zone because I'm not sure. Yeah, it is a create space book, Christine. Um, but what I wanted to show you was the images because I did see about four or five of these in a uh, thumbnail format, and I thought, oh, that's right up my street. So the single sided. Um, just bear with me a moment. Yeah, the single-sided, um, it doesn't tell you how many they are. But as you can see, they're quite in tune with uh, the mythical kind of uh, stuff that we enjoy on this channel. And um, there's a variance in types of artwork, because obviously we've got the heavy line stuff here. And then we're moving on to the fainter stuff, which is more intricate here. Um, and they're very, very reasonably priced. So that was one of the reasons. Uh, I do believe that's the Sagittarius, um, kind of half man, half horse or creature of some sort. And then we move back to the fine line art. And then, of course, we've got Leo here, Leo the lion. And then we've got this one, which is very, very intricate. That that could be a fine line of duty day. Um I think so as well, Mousy Deba. Hello, by the way. Um, yeah, I think so as well, uh, looking at it now. Um, but the thumbnails I saw were beautiful, and, you know, the book's not let me down in that respect. It is always a gamble to buy on, on you know, when you've not really seen. Um, no, I think a goat's Capricorn, Jane, because I'm Capricorn. I'm sure that's a goat. Um, this is either a griffin or a phoenix, that kind of stuff. So as you can see, guys, this is full of um, different uh, fantasy images. There are some simple ones. That's a minor tour. Uh, there are some intricate ones, and there are some that are a little bit more easy on the eye uh, and some that are more difficult with the intricacy. Um, so... With that in mind, we can have a look through that book and do a flip through later. Uh, but there will be a link to this book after the um, after the stream's finished. So that's Magical World and Amazing Mythical Animals, which, as somebody rightly pointed out, is possibly uh, a compilation of various artists. The next one is Mythical Creatures Coloring Book for Adults. Same publishers, Red Skull. Oh, no, it's not. I do apologise. It's unicorn colouring. Um, and this is round about the same kind of stuff. But as you can see, we have... Uh, well, that's a phoenix, isn't it? Rising from the flames. We have uh, some really interesting images here. And these are very, very uh, affordable books.
beautiful, beautiful images. Uh, I particularly like the mermaid here and the seahorse. Um, and the uh, she's actually holding the fish here. So, and then you've got this kind of rock man here, made up of stone. Oh, it could be made up of gems if you wanted him to be. Um, of course, you are the boss of your own coloring book, so you can do whatever you want. Uh, the kind of, uh, it's kind of stood around the Star of David in, in some sort of cult circle. Hello, Vin. Nice of you to join us. And uh, and as you can see, the pattern pretty much carries on. Heavy, heavy line art, light line art, um, more finer details. So, yeah, really, really pleased with this. I love this dragon. Uh, I think Christine will too. Uh, it'll be a nice one to colour later on in the show. Uh, but not today, of course. Um, and then the next one that came with this kind of series is a Dover colouring book. And this is The World of Dragons. And it's been illustrated by Arcady Reutemann. Uh, Arcady is spelled A-R-K-A-D-Y. And Reutemann is R-O-Y-T. M -A -N. And again, um, you have a very, very similar book. The thing I like about this one in particular, I'll just get to the beginning, is that uh, we have um, explanations and names and variants of species for all the fantastical creatures that are in here. Um, and they, they kind of tell you what, where they derived from and where they uh, originated in, in, in the world. Um, obviously, the f number one is a dragon. Uh, it goes on to tell you that it's a mythical creature, etc., etc. Uh, there are two types of distinct dragon, which I didn't know. Uh, you've got the European dragons uh, derived from Europe, and then you've got the Greek and Chinese ones uh, from the Middle East. And then, of course, you go on to different types of dragons you got the chinese one here the japanese one here uh these will be lovely colored in pencil you have the vietnamese dragon the indian dragon um you have the indian uh makara that's called slightly different and then you have what's called a neek or a kaima here with it's a dragon with no wings Thank you, Shannon. Um, so, yeah, uh, you've got a lot of creatures I've not heard of in here. This one in particular, uh, with the, it's like a winged serpent dragon. Uh, that's actually a Filipino one. Let me get that more in camera for you. That's a, a Filipino one, and um, it's called a Bacanawa. It's a giant sea serpent with a mouth the size of a lake. And it's said to be the exact same size as Lake Bacanawa, hence the name. So, uh, so yeah, it, it's it's one of these that's got loads of different, uh, like I said earlier, variances in species. Uh, we have Greek dragons, and then we, we move through to the Hebrew. Uh, they're all similar versions, but different. So, uh, you know, if you ever, this is an Egyptian one here. So if you ever wanted to, uh, you know, touch upon your dragon skills uh, and, and kind of learn what, what dragons are from where and, and who they belong to, this is perfect because uh, you've got all the different uh, species in here. So really happy with that. Again, another inexpensive coloring book. Um, in particular, this is the Welsh dragon, as most people in the UK will recognise the flag. Um, the, the Wales is in the UK, and uh, no, I didn't run it, and that's that's an excellent terminology. <laughs> Fancy schmancy. Hello, Grace. Thanks for joining us. So, yeah, I'm really, really happy with uh, with this book. Um, not only is it a nice colouring book to uh, just chill out with your pencils with, 
it's also a, a quite informative read um you know uh, of getting to know and then we can't leave without obviously showing you the english dragon with saint george um so yeah uh th th that's that's the third of the dragon books that i wanted to show you guys um now then this was a gift uh sent to me in a happy mail box uh the dragon archaeological research are far behind yeah i guess they are really um when you put it like that morticia yeah um so rosamond uh sent me another box today well no sorry it wasn't today there's another one coming today um probably thursday evening uh and this is the second book that i have in the Teresa ivanor series uh i put this on me on my wish list early doors because it's the same one as the first one but of course this is just polychromos no i didn't sunday and and I, th I think that dover have really excelled themselves there with this book um you know based on on the uh on the fact that there's so many different types of species which of course you can color to your art's content because you know you can you can try different colors and try different techniques on different dragons um so so yeah this is the the volume three but it's my second volume um because this is the polychromos uh book that's got all the polychromos in here with blends and um combos that you can think of I'm really really happy with that i don't really want any any of the other ones uh purely because you know the, these two are fine for me the uh the prismacolor and the polychromos are all catalogued in here um yes it will grace i know i've got it on record ready um it won't be shown here in the uk till tomorrow evening so um please don't be sending me any messages or anything like that <laughs> so that's that one guys okay in that pack I, i'm I'll leave that till later, actually. But then I, I was contacted by uh, the publisher. Um, and I was uh, asked, well, what happened was uh, I, I, I received an email. Um, no, no spoilers, please. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. I, um, I received an email from Michael O'Mara Publishers. Uh, and they'd been... Um, they'd been looking at my videos and um, they asked me if i was prepared to uh accept the english version of color morphia the uk version now i've not seen this on youtube anywhere else and to be honest i i i don't know the difference as i've not got the us one so what i was kind of hoping uh from all you guys is obviously some of you will have the us one and if there's any um things that actually stick out um that are different in in the two then we can obviously discuss it here uh yeah i i think i think it's a good one uh, sandy um that world that world of dragon book is a good one and um, like i said before i think they've excelled themselves uh hello rona yeah it's final season isn't it so right okay so we, we we've got this uh uk version i've not touched it since I, I you know i opened the envelope um and what michael maro have done is uh they've they've sent me this uh explaining uh of when it's out in the uk it will be the 2nd of may 2019 uh, and they've asked me if I'll stream on the Tuesday before that and show the book, which I'm more than happy to do. Uh, we'll be using uh, some of these hashtags on, on the day, where which is hashtag Kirby Roseanne's, hashtag Um and that's that. So what I uh, particularly 
obviously because I've not I've not opened it yet. Uh, I need to know is is the difference in the two. Um, oh, that's good. I'm glad you have, Anne, because it may well be that there's a massive difference or none at all. Uh, I'm not sure. They've put these two, a uh, couple of crayons here, uh, uh, little diddy ones, which are quite cute uh, in the string work, and then sent. Oh, it's actually attached. So I was just about to pull that off, guys. I'm glad I didn't. So just bear with me a moment. Uh, let me get rid of these two pencils. They've also sent me another Kirby book, which is upstairs, and I forgot to bring it down. Uh, which is a Phantom Orthia limited edition book, which I'm going to obviously go and get. I've got five so far in the shop. Oh, oh, okay. So let me just get this back through there. The string that is. There we go. So it's it's been stringed up and uh, strung up, should I say? And it's come with this uh, small image of the. Um, yeah, that's a good idea, Shannon. Uh, if if you could, that'd be that'd be. Oh, thank you, Anne. Thank you. So, did the uh, US version come with this little, or is that just a publisher's thing? This little steampunk cat uh, image. Hello, Zentral. Welcome, Zentral from Sweden. Oh, oh Susie, have you got it as well? Okay. Right, that's that's so right. There's no point reviewing that bit then. So I'll take the string off. Uh, is the color scheme the same, guys? On um, is the color scheme the same, guys? On the front cover book, this is a kind of uh, a jade green. Um, it's it's almost like an aqua green color. I don't know if that comes across on the channel. Um, and the back of the book is a um, obviously we've got mombooks.com on the back nine pound ninety nine, and the ISBN number, which I'll bring up to the camera so you can see that. Just have to take auto focus back on a minute. So we've got there uh, at the top line. Come on. Come on. Okay. So we've got MOM books and then the ISBN number there. Uh, right, okay, and thank you. Did it come with, uh, oh, it's a steel blue, Christine. Uh, this is a green color. Um, I don't know if that comes across. It's very jade in color. It's almost like this pen. Uh, but a bit darker. Um, and then we open the book. We have this wonderfully coloured uh, wasp uh, on the front inside cover. And then we have this double uh, page spread of the gorilla. Oh, it's a beetle, actually, the previous page. This is called Kong. Um, and it's a message from um, Kirby Rosans in the front. I know the US version has got this. Uh, the word, the word on mine, multicolored. Which word do you mean, uh, Anne? These are uh, actual colored images from previous uh, people who have colored the images and they've been picked by Kirby himself. Similar, not the same. Okay, thank you. 
So you've got all these uh, coloured bits, uh, and then I know that it starts a section there, colouring section. Um, it's on wonderful paper. I must say that the paper is superb, and then that's the that's the picture that you cut that came with it. Yeah, it is awesome, isn't it? The paper. Yeah, thanks, Sandy. Um, all right, the front cover is multicolored. Okay, that's fine. Um, um, we have like a thick batch of of coloring images here, which are familiar throughout the other Kirby books. Um, and there's a lot here to color. And I mean a lot. So I don't know how many the US version has, uh, but there is a tremendous amount of images to color in, in this, a lot. Oh, thank you, Deborah. That's lovely of you to say. I'm not sure yet, Zen 12. Um, I've literally just opened it for the first time. Uh, so... Um, and I would have to uh, have a look at it in more depth to choose which pencils I use. Um, but I just noticed something, Shannon. I don't know if you noticed it as well. Just bear with me, guys. <clears throat> One of my mods in, in the stream, Shannon, is going is doing this particular image here. Um, yeah, I saw the green man again, Michelle. <laughs> oh, dear. Back to double-sided. Yeah, I know it is. That's that's um, that's a no-no, isn't it, uh, Katie? I agree with you there. Oh, yes, the autofocus. I need to turn back off. Oh, the paper's an off-white cream. This is brilliant white paper. Uh, so that's slightly different then as well, isn't it? Okay, thank you, Anne. <clears throat> so Shannon's doing a really good job of this at the moment. Um, I know that she's stopped started with it uh, due to, you know, coming, ac coming across a brick wall that we all come across, don't we, guys, when we're colouring. And um, it is really looking uh, excellent. Uh, so despite what she says... It is looking really good, and I'm sure that she'll do it justice when she finishes. So I would estimate there's over 100 images in this book uh, by looking at it. Uh, I would guess at that. So, I, again, I don't know. Um, thank you, Shannon. I don't know how many, um, how much difference there is. I think that the only thing that we've managed to establish is the colour differenti differentiation on the cover. The paper is not off-white, it's brilliant white. Um, and I'm not sure if there's more pages in this one or not. I wouldn't have thought so, um, but you never know. I have heard that there were supposed to be more in this. Okay, thank you, Sandy. So I'm going to have fun with this. There's nothing more. Um, there's nothing more sure than that. And then what they've asked me to do is be part of the Kirby blog. So there's a, there's an online, uh, let me just bring the email up, guys, and I'll, I'll read it to you. Just bear with me a second. Because um, obviously for those who do like Kirby, um, it'd be a nice thing to be part of, I, I would have thought. So just bear with me here, guys, and I'll bring up, here we are. Okay. Okay, so she goes on to say that uh, she's watched my reviews of uh, previous Kirby titles and would love to hear my thoughts on the book and any ideas that I have for the contribution of the tour. Now, the tour is um, it's from Michael O'Mara Books. It's an independent publisher specializing in nonfiction and activity books. And there's a blog tour for this Kirby book which starts on the 29th of April and runs uh, to the 2nd of May. Now, I've been invited to um, to attend that blog uh, and 
obviously run my video in collaboration with that, which I'm more than happy to do, and it's called the Morphia series. So I will let you know nearer the time, guys, but it's from the 29th of April right through to the 2nd of May, and I have the Tuesday in those days. I don't know which way around it is off the top of my head at the moment, but whichever day in, sorry, whichever day falls on a Tuesday between the 29th and the 2nd of May is my slot in that uh, blog tour. So I was really, really excited uh, to be asked for that. And um, it's it's a beautiful honor really to be, uh, for somebody just to stumble across my, uh, Yeah, all right, yeah. So the UK version is a shiny cover, uh, as you can see. Uh, the US version is a matte color. Deborah, uh, you are very bad for my... <laughs> Thank you, Deborah. Um, <clears throat> obviously, things are starting to happen now with publishers and whatnot. So, I, I, like I say, I am, uh, I'm pretty proud at the moment. So... Uh, I don't know what the calendar is. Let me just. Thank you, Shannon. Did you manage to catch which date of those is a Tuesday? Hang on, let me bring the calendar up. Uh, it's the 30th, guys. So it runs from the 29th to the 2nd. So that's the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Is it, one, is it the 2nd? Yeah, 29th to the 2nd. So that is uh, the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of that week. Thank you, Shara. I really appreciate that comment. So um, I'm doing the Tuesday, and I'll be part of that vlog tour. There's quite a few people doing it. So look out for my contribution, won't you guys, and uh, give, give me a bit of support in the vlog tour. Okay. So that's enough emphasis on the new uh, Colour Mafia book. We don't need to overkill that. Uh, the next thing I got, which is part of a, a subscription, was the Adorable Alien special. Um, not a massive support of this book, if, if I'm honest. There's been a lot better issues in the past. Uh, I have looked up Matthew Larson, who is the artist of these 40 images. Um, no, I, I'm not keen either, Vin. Um, it's it's all right, and you know, it's good to have as part of my collection of uh Colouring Heavens, but it's not my kind of thing. Uh, it reminds me of the um, who is the artist that does the We Wicked uh series? Uh, it's that kind of artwork, isn't it? You know, um. Just big, big spaces and um, <laughs> thanks, <you>, Sam. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, um, <laughs> disabled. Oh, that, that. Wait while I get supplies out, Christine. I've spent hours on getting these uh, for you all to have a look at. Uh, Carla Mangana, that's the one, Cathy. Yeah, and not an artist I'm uh, particularly keen on. Uh, I respect her, of course. Um, but it's not my kind of uh, thing, and it reminds me of that art a little bit. I don't know if it does anyone else, uh, but yeah, it's a it's a meh, it's a meh one, is that? Um, so it's it's come, it's part of the collection. Um, you know, I can live all in without it, really. Uh, but that, I, I have to show it you guys because obviously it's part of the part of the show. Okay, so the next thing, just bear with me guys, so the next thing I bought, which is a book, just one book, and the next couple after that are Happy Meal, and then we'll go on to these supplies that I got with the uh, affiliate money. People don't seem happy with the addition. What the colour mafia one on? I don't think I don't think there was a lot he could do with it really. I mean, I I, uh, I managed to uh, get some really early news on that book. If you look back on my videos, 
I did actually kind of uh, put out what 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 was going to be in the book, and um, obviously once that's been decided, I don't think there's a lot you can actually change with the format of that. Um, I haven't been on that long, Shara, um, 40 minutes, but there's a couple of hours yet. Wendy, I collected the Anastasia called the Raven Dragons book of theirs, but otherwise it's almost always the pretty girl art. Right, okay. Yeah, I do, Anne. I, I, I do. Um, I mean, it's, I don't want to call it simplistic art because that's disrespectful to the artist. But it's very um, big, big spaces and um, cartoonified. It's not really my my bag, but I, I kind of find the Carla Mangana books very similar to that. So, um, <laughs> thank you, Shara. Just from the flip through you are doing shows me that this book wouldn't be my... No, I didn't think it would be Sandy, to be fair. Yeah, I, I agree, Randy. I, I, I agree. Right, is zombies a detail, are they? Okay. Like I said, I, you know, th there isn't a right and a wrong. Um, from what I've seen of that, I'm, I'm not 100% happy with it. Um, this will shock a few people because, uh, you know, it's not kind of my thing, but this is one that I've bought, and it's by a company called Draw Tencel. Uh now, <laughs> I, I've succumbed to the the cuteness of the <laughs> the um, the cute the cuteness of the book here, but not only have I succumbed to the cuteness of the book, I've succumbed to the images purely because. Um, well, I'll show you now. You'll be able to see. It's a new book that's just come out, and it's called "Cute Pets and Animals Coloring Book." It's very inexpensive. I'm shocked myself, Cathy. Um, but you will see why in a minute, because they're all kind of mosaic pictures. Apart from the, apart from the the, the leading image in the in, in in the in the drawing. But so what that kind of does is you've got your images as normal to colour, and then everything in the background is mosaic. So you could try all sorts of different mediums with this book to try and help you um, obviously become proficient in that medium, but also try all sorts of different stuff out due to the fact that the book's really inexpensive. So that's why I wanted to show it you. But again, you've got this, this bear eating honey here with its paw, but everything in the background's mosaic. So I thought that... that <laughs> uh, I just got I got a bit of cuteness overload, Randy, and I thought bloody hell fire, you know. Um, I, I really like it, so I went with my gut instinct and bought it. I think it was a fiver, uh, five pounds. That's what seven dollars or something. Um, but what it does do is allow you to 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 practice your contrast because you've got the leading image at the front, and then you've got your background in mosaic, and that's pretty much. The pattern of the rest of the book as you can see it's also quite 3d when you stare at it um <laughs> thank you Anne. it yeah that's the point michelle there is a a tinge of care bear to it um this is so cute that giraffe i don't know what's up with me lately guys i i it must be that i'm so happy with um with my life at the moment there is room for a lot of artists. Yeah, that's that's what I thought, Christine, especially with contrast, which I struggle with. Um, thank you, Shannon. Um, yeah, I struggle with... Uh, oh, do they pickle? That's interesting. Um, so I don't know what's up with me at the moment. I'm, I'm into like little cute animals, and I'll just show you what I'm on about on here because I saw, uh, I like Alsatian dogs. I, I am a dog person, not a cat person. And somebody uh, sent me a picture because I like Alsatians as well. Uh, when I was in the police, um, Aya Kim, 
when I was in the police, guys, I, I really, really liked the police dogs. Uh, one in particular was called Diesel. And it was, uh, it was a very good police dog, but it was cute as hell with police officers. And um, uh, Sarah sent me this picture of an Alsatian, or German Shepherd, as, as people call them, uh, that's got dwarfism. Now, I want to show you the picture because it is so cute. And I don't, like I said, I don't know what's happening to me at the moment. I'm just so happy with, with my life at the moment that I've turned into a, into a, a cute bucket or what. But wait while I show you this, guys. You'll see what I mean. How cute is that? Please. <laughs> That's a fully grown Alsatian or German Shepherd with dwarfism i mean it's how nice is that dog i mean come on its paws are chunky but his legs are really short the poor thing oh that was creepy vin <laughs> isn't it adorable that i mean beautiful it's just a facial expression as well you know mary uh, it's pure, you wouldn't think it were fully grown, would you? Cuteness overload, exactly. So I think it's to do with, <laughs> to do with my mood at the moment, guys. Obviously, I'm really happy with how things are going and how the channel's going. And um, so, yeah, this book is, is a reflection of that, I think. Um, I don't know what made me buy it other than I thought to myself, the images are going to be, you know, straightforward enough, but what it'll allow you to do is 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 the contrast so you've got a panda here with the bamboo trees and then again the rest is in mosaic you could try anything with this um thank you sandy <laughs> um yes michelle how beautiful is it it's so nice isn't it i'm getting mush here. yeah i must be i must be it's not a bad thing is it i mean i'm I'm toe to toe with big airy blokes all day in my job, so it's nice to come home to some cuteness. Oh wow, we've got hundred in guys, so thank you. Thank you very much for that. I am getting mushy pickle. But in the same breath though, in my defense, I I like I need a defense, but I think um thank you, Mary. Thank you, Shamira, and thank you so much for the uh, super chat. I really, really appreciate it. And as you can tell, it will go straight to the channel. Um, it's a pity you couldn't see the supplies I'm going to be showing next, but uh, hopefully you'll be able to catch it on rerun. Um, but in my defense, guys, one of the things that I did think about when I saw it was practicing contrast. I have struggled with that a lot. My sister-in-law, Anne, says, hi, Dev. Hello, Anne. How you doing? <laughs> Dev, I'm going to come take away all your light colour shades and leave you with only your jewel tones. Yeah, that's that's the point, Christine. I mean, I was going to message you about contrast anyway. Uh, I think it would make me a better colourist. Um, so, of course, you've got all these images, seahorse, penguin, Dragon, I mean, that's a cute little dragon there eating uh, marshmallow. Well, he's toasted marshmallow with his own breath. Dev, he looks like one of the characters in your cute colour. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Got to start cooking chicken dinner. Oh, winner, winner. Winner, winner, Louise, if you're cooking chicken dinner. Winner, winner. Um. Okay, that, that's that's great of you to let us know, Louise. But uh, obviously, if you want to know anything, just send me a message. I'm more than happy to help. Uh, so you've got a little baby zebra. Uh, and pretty much you get the gist of the book, guys, don't you now? Uh, you've got all these cute little animals. Uh, you've got a little pug here. And then you've got the mosaic in the background. So this book's all about contrast. I'd love some chicken, please, Louise. It's my favourite. So, yeah, I love some chicken. Chicken mental, mental, oriental. Chicken oriental. But, yeah, I'll have some. 
Nana, I know what you're thinking. <laughs> so, um, Flamingo, guys, uh, again, it's the same format throughout the book, so I won't over-exhaust that. Uh, but you get why I've bought it. But yes, I am getting mushy in my old age. Indian Vindaloo. Oh, that sounds delightful, Zencho. So that's that, guys. So the next two are Happy Mail and then we've done. The next three, sorry. Are Happy Mail and then we've done. Okay. <laughs> so these actually came with the other Happy Mail that I showed you last time uh, from Rosamond, the, the sketchbook, uh, sorry, the um, the Bennett Klein books. This was one that was late coming in. Oh, and I've got the other book that MOM um, Mara show, uh, sent as well. So <laughs> you've never cooked 400 before. Well, we could try. Hit my sweetness level for the day, Dave. Thank you. Not a problem, Michelle. Thumbs up. So um, this is the darker Bennett Klein book. I won't go mental with it. We all know what Bennett Klein books are, uh, but it's part of the series that I had on my wish list that Rosamond's bought me. And, of course, it makes up the collection. I think I'm only too short now at the moment. Uh, thank you, Nana. Um, wait while you see me next one, you'll love it. I think you've already got it though, but never mind. Um, so that was the um, the Bennett Klein uh, darker uh, book, and then Rosamond also bought me the uh, the Hollow Moon Art grayscale coloring book. Now, as always, guys, I've got to be honest. Uh, it's a lovely gift, and and I would um, I would never ever uh, criticize anything, anybody, or anything being bought for me. It's I've looked at it on on Etsy. It's quite expensive. It's by uh, an artist called Neleke Shoemaker. But if you were paying money for this, guys, have you seen how thin it is? I think there are only about 15 pages in this. And um, uh, when did you start it? When did I start my? I started in October. Oh, Shannon's answered it. I started in October uh, for each landed. I put a random video out in September, but I really started mainly with the channel and the regularity in October. So although this is special, um, and as you will see by the images, guys, it is beautiful. I mean, look at them. But you literally, I mean, we even have some uh, some coat hangers. Uh, you, could cut, you could actually cut glass with those. Um, But as you can see, it's a beautiful book. That double page spread is going to be what I do first. He's absolutely. Oh, you've got it, have you, Nan? I thought you did. Hello, Just Lisa. Hi, Jacqueline. Uh, this lady is, um, is never going to break her nose if she falls on the floor. Um, she's always going to be. Uh, Automatic airbags there. Double-sided as well, Mousy. Yes, exactly. What were they thinking? So you get to the probably 16th or 18th image. And that's it. So as happy as I am with Rosamond for buying it, me, I, I, I have to be honest with you guys because, you know, people do... Uh, buy things that I show on the channel and I just want to make you all aware that if it doesn't say anything on the description of Etsy that if you do buy this I did actually get this with it which just one second guys <clears throat> ironically I have got a brand new frame 
here, uh, which has got an inset in it. But that can I can take that out, no problem. Which I think I'm going to use for this uh, for this image and put it in the uh, in this art room in here. Um, it's also a coloured image of one of the images in the book. Um, but what I want to warn you about, guys, is 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 if you buy it, don't be shocked with the the pure thinness of the of the book. Um, so, although it's got you know, it's got blood bags in it and and all that kind of stuff and all that niceness. Um, that's the that's the one that we've got the coloured image from. Uh, if you wanted inspiration or anything similar. Um, <laughs> but as instant airbags never break a nose, no way. Um, it's like somebody with a big nose, isn't it? You know, they can smoke a cigar in the shower and the, the cigar won't get wet. You know, a bit like Dustin Hoffman, he can smoke cigars in the shower. <laughs> Instant flotation device. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I, I have to be honest, guys, it's not cheap and the postage is redonkulous. Um, and it really is flimsy. So... I just really want to be honest with you all for that. Uh, and then last of all, uh, next to the last of all, this is uh, this was sent to me by uh, Michael O'Mara Books with the Kirby book. So sorry, that is double-sided and a few. Yeah, Sandy, I'm, I, you know, I'm happy with it because it was a beautiful gift and, and a nice thought because uh, I do like that kind of artwork. Um, but if you're paying like, you know, 20, 30 quid for a book and then maybe 15, 14 quid in postage, that is a lot to ask for for a double-sided book as 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 bad as that. Um, very quickly, guys, because I, I want to, I'm conscious that we've got loads to get through. Um Michael O'Mara have sent me this book along with the UK version. Um, now, this is a thick uh, Phantomorphia book. It's got all the ones from um, the last one. What's the last Morphia called? Hi, Beth. Yeah, exactly that, April. Uh, Geomorphia, it's the one that's combined. It's single-sided. Look at this. And it's the jumbo version of the book. It's got all the images in from both books, double uh, single sided, and it is fantastic. I'm not sure though, guys, that I've ever seen that dragon before on in, on the inside cover of a book. Um, I don't know if anybody else has seen that, uh, but I don't know if. Hello, Sharon. Yeah, I'm okay. Thank you, uh, Beth. Oh, sorry, you're talking to uh, CB. I I've not seen that dragon before on the inside cover of a Kirby book. Um, obviously, the 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 wolf is cut in half, which we, we are aware of. And then on this one, on the other side, is the rest of the dragon, guys. So it's actually four squares long. Four squares. Thank you, Vin. And then, like I say, it's a, it's a really, I've not seen this book before. It's really thick. Uh, I think it could be French. I'm not sure. Uh, yes, possibly. Uh, Carnet de Colorage and Jus d'Observation. Uh, if that French accent was shit, <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> but it's uh, it's a very thick book, single sided, uh, and it was nice of uh, is it Mark or Michael O'Mara to send it. Uh, it's really thick, and like I say, I've not seen these dragons before at all. Um, so that's that. Okay. And then the last piece of Happy Mail, 
Uh, don't ask me to pronounce this. It's by Tomislav Tomic. And again, they've put it up in join, um, joined up writing, so I still can't see what it's called. But it's something like Spooks Jesper. <laughs> it's lovely, isn't it, Mish? Said beautifully in a broad Yorkshire accent. <laughs> oh, gosh. So what, what, some of you guys might be able to pronounce that. I, I actually cannot. Um, I cannot. Spook, spook Jabbar or Spook Jesbas. Whatever it's called anyway. Um, it's Happy Mail. It's the last bit from Rosamond. It's a beautiful, beautiful book. Um, no, I haven't done it yet, Kim. Uh, I have got quite a lot to get through, actually. So, uh, in joined up writing, yeah. You mean cursive, Deb? Yes, cursive is a fantastic word for it. So, the back of the book looks like this. Very good quality. All single-sided images. And as you would expect with Tomislav Tomic, uh, very intricate designs. It's an off-white cream colour. It is heavy duty. Oh, that's a double pager look. It's very heavy duty. Spook Jess Bass translates to fairy tale forest. Thank you, Christine. Uh, Google is is a fantastic tool, isn't it? Uh, so uh, you've got oh, there's another double sided ear one with eggs. Look, so that could be an Easter one. Thank you, great art. But it's beautiful. Whichever way you look at it or pronounce it, it's in an off-white creamy paper. It's very thick. And um, spook, spook, yes, boss. Spook, yes, boss. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, you've got the odd uh, double page spread in here and loads of single-sided ones. Uh, but what a beautiful book and a beautiful gesture, of course. It's the companion book to Zemla Snova, Drummond Vanga in the Dutch. Yes, I think I've got that book. Um, I, I don't want to swear on it though. Uh, need to go, chicken is calling. Yeah, not a problem, Zen Troll. Thank you for coming. Um, it's beautiful, isn't it, Beth? It's really good quality, and like I said, the links for all this will be in the uh, description when I've done. Okay, so that's it with those guys. So now it's time to look at what I bought with the affiliate money. Uh, I've tried to go budget, guys, and I've tried um, before I decided. Hi, Becky. Uh, what I've, what I tried to do. Yes, I agree, Michelle, are, are very sharp pencils, yeah? Um, what I tried to do was try and pick some stuff that's in the sale as well, uh, obviously to get more in. Uh... <laughs> nice one, Melsey. It's a very nice book, isn't it? Yeah, and it's, uh, it's a, a beautiful part of my collection now. Right, let's get cracking, guys. So... The first, uh, hello, Wendy. Yeah, it's not a problem. I've, I've picked the winner. I'll show it right at the end. Uh, the first thing I got was these pack of 12 uh, budget, pen, uh, budget brushes. These are suitable for use with acrylic, oil, watercolour, and fabric. But the thing I like about these is they have the different types of um, the different types of of brush. They're not all the same. Uh, I know that that's called a fan brush because I like to do clouds like that upwards in that kind of motion. Let me get that kind of motion where you bring it up. I'm going to go through them, uh, Pickle, but I'll, I'll get to them in a minute. <laughs> Thanks, love. Uh, it comes with a really fine one, as you can see there. And then we have uh, one that leaves a serrated kind of uh, 
trail behind it. I don't know the correct terminology for that kind of brush, but it almost looks like a fork. It's a good motion, Cathy. It, it, it allows you to do the sweep. Uh, I learned that off Bob Ross. You've got angled brushes here, uh, which have a curve on that one. Uh, and then you've got a right angle uh, on that one. Not quite a right angle, but probably it's a degree of uh, right angle anyway. Uh, and then what I thought was, this is such a, uh, a, a varied pack of brushes uh, for very little money that we could all get these brushes. This one is like a tapered uh end to it where you've got some long ones left and they've cut the majority of the brush shorter so you'll get that kind of uh especially for hair and things like that you would get the um uh the kind of trail uh effect um and then if, and then of course you've got all these other ones you've got a round brush a small angled brush another round brush so I thought for, I think they were six pounds. Um, and I thought it was a nice set to show you guys. They're made by Crafts for All. And um, going forward, we can uh, try watercolours with these and all the other variant, various uh, paints that we have. Uh, but that was something that I wanted to show you. Um, and they're in the sale at the moment as well. Okay. The next thing I got was this, which we're going to swatch immediately. We're going to do. We're going to. We're going to swatch them as we look at them, so that we uh, get an instant impression. Otherwise, if I do all the swatching after, we'll forget which to which. Thank you, Shannon. Um, I think there were six pounds on for the whole lot, which is about what. Eight and a half dollars. Can I nudge it up a tad? Of course, Elizabeth. There we go. So these are made by Studio Series, and they are, these are the dual tip skin tone. Okay. The majority of small sets that I have got are, are skin tone because they're the easiest ones to replicate if you want to buy a skin set, but they're also small enough to give you a good idea on the larger sets, if that makes any sense. So I thought I would get these. These are in the sale as well. The description on these are that there are a fine nib and a brush on them. And um, just messaged you, Sharon. Oh, sorry, that's not... Yeah, um, these are professional grade alcohol ink, blendable, dye based, archival. So they've got all the singing and dancing kind of descriptives uh, that you would expect from a professional marker. So the only way to kind of see if that's true is to is to, to is to try them okay so we'll go straight in at the deep end uh, let me find a piece of acetate here we are so the last one we did in here was the the windsor and newton watercolor markers that we recently uh, was gifted so we're now on to the next collection name, which is the Studio Series. There are six markers in here. Uh, let me get a pen. Six markers. Uh, so these are the... Oh, I don't want to use that. That's a fine, fine brush. It's very wobbly, that one, guys. <laughs> So these are the uh, Studio Series. Uh, 
Um, now, the next thing we need to check is whether Well, don't watch it back then, Sean. <laughs> uh, the next thing we need to know is whether uh, we have colour names on them. So let's have a look. Yes, we do. So the first one is simply just known as powder. So I'm going to do a little swatch with the fine nib and a little swatch with the um the brush okay so first of all we'll do this and i can tell you instantly that i like these and that's the brush the lay down on them is absolutely superb i've got to say Okay, so the, the first one is called powder. So, and that's a nice kind of uh, skin color, isn't it? That's the, um... oh, thank you for joining, Sandy. Uh, same to yourself, and I will, um, I'll speak to you soon. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's, it's, uh, <laughs> uh, it's it's very expensive for what it is, Sean. Uh, it's incredibly thin. It's not single sided. Uh, I was quite disappointed, if I'm honest. Um. Anyway, the next one is apricot. Yeah, I couldn't believe it pickle either. So apricot is the next one so we'll do the fine tip first then we'll do the brush so the fine tip is that it's a slightly darker pink than the the last one and then the brush goes on absolutely beautiful so that's the apricot yeah the book to be totally honest with you, makes a rip off. It really is. <laughs> uh, the next one is skin white. So we can use the fine point first. That this is going to be a phenomenal uh, set, I can tell you now. Beautiful. That goes there. Right, the next three are more darker tones. So we'll start with the lightest of those. This is Coco. No, the lightest, sorry, is... Mocha. So that's the fine point for the mocha. The color really nice. Uh, and they have a nice odour to them. I don't know whether it's healthy odour or not, but it smells lovely. And then the brush kind of uh, is so soft. So that's the mocha. And then we have the cocoa, which we mentioned last time. And that's about like the last one in, which is ebony. Okay. 
Okay. So the cocoa fine point. Is that the brush? No, oh, that's the brush. Cocoa fine point first. Lovely. Lovely tone. Uh, the brush gives a nice lay down. They're so juicy, these. You'd have to be careful with uh, in between the lines. These will bleed like heck because they're that juicy. Uh, Ebony is the next one. So your fine point gives out the darkest of the browns. I've noticed a lot of Etsy artists pricing their work far higher than many in the market can afford recently. I get value in your work, but $4 and $5 a page is pushing it. Ooh. These are beautiful, Zoe. Uh, absolutely beautiful to use. They're so comfortable and, um, and juicy. Uh, Oh, Professor, dear me, when will you ever learn? Uh, so these are the the Studio Series ones that I uh, I showed you guys. So there will be a link shortly. Um, and it does say that you can, uh, Rona. It does say blendable. So I'll just show you that on camera. It says blendable here. Uh, along with Vivid, Alcoholic Ink, Archival, and Dye Based. So I thought that was quite a, a, a nice one to show on the channel. They, they're very similar, Kathy, especially the brush. Um, you know, the brush kind of just glides, really. That's a good word to use for it. Um, it's, it's kind of a glidey motion. So I'm happy to manage to get those and show them. Um, now, Pickle was just mentioning uh, these, which I'm going to now show you. Uh, the, the box of these, I won't lie to you, collapsed. So that wasn't a good first impression. But we'll hopefully be able to rectify the situation by announcing uh, a good kind of um, find, if you like. So these are the Pilot Frictions, and they are uh, erasable. Uh, let me find my pen. So they are the Pilot Friction, spelt that way, uh, spelt with an X. Um, and we have five of them. There may have been six. Don't think there was. Uh, and they come in, and you can remove the ink by using this rubber at the end. And, um, yeah, yeah, they came in uh, one of the, what is it, didn't they, uh, Shara? They came, um, was it the scroller box? Uh so anyway, the, these have no names. So, oh, they do actually. Sorry, guys. <laughs> they do have names. So the first one is soft pink. Uh, this is a, it's a kind of highlighter pickle. Um, but we'll see in a minute. The swatch sort of comes out like that. It's got an angled chisel tip to it. Um, I, I suppose you could use them as highlighters without a shadow of a doubt. Um, but you, I think you could also use them for colouring as well. Um, this particular one, the next one, is soft green. Oh, the, one, the, the pen I've got in my hand is the sixth one. This is the black. But it's actually a pen.
soft green they're very juicy the angle of the thing works okay so I'll, you know at the moment they're okay uh, nothing brilliant Oh, this one's soft violet. I think we kind of get the gist now. So everything in here is going to be soft, isn't it? We'd have been better naming these ourselves. But never mind. Does the eraser damage the paper, Dev? Let's have a look. I'll try it now. Now, the eraser worked impressively well got to say that look at that and it's not damaged the paper uh, either so yeah it does work it's not it's not um it's not a gimmick yes i will do great uh it's a kind of angled chisel tip but very small Yeah, it's really rubbed it out. I'm quite impressed with that. Um, and I like this colour, the soft violet. That looks a nice colour. So that's that one. I bet this is soft yellow. It's soft orange. <laughs> uh, so this one's soft orange. Um, we go across with these. Um, like somebody said in the chat, they're, they're very pastel colours. So uh, I guess they could be used as highlighters, but um, I would be, tend to be more using them for pastel colours. Um, just FYI, you are streaming. No, she's actually streaming over me, Charlotte. Um She's been she's been doing every Sunday for the last sort of five or six weeks, um, and I I spoke to her about it, and uh, she says, "Oh no, it's okay, uh, just carry on." Um, but um, yeah, I started on the Sundays first, unfortunately, or fortunately, whichever way you want to look at that. It's the heat that erases. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah, it's the heat from the. Oh, that's you right. Okay, Charlotte. I, I've been I've been streaming on a Sunday for about three months now. Um, so I do apologise if that's the case. Um, right. But I I kind of joined in on Sundays um, and took near slot near slot. Sorry. Um, so yeah there you have it uh this is a uh, soft blue it is inevitable uh shannon and like i said i i spoke to april about it and there's no problem at all So that's the soft blue. And the sixth one must be this pen uh, that I've been writing with. Because uh, it's not uh, it's not like the chisels on these ones. This is just a normal, straightforward. Uh... Thank you, Sean. Yeah, I thought so. Um, so you've got five. Uh, there must be six in the set, guys. So there's five um, that are colours, and then the sixth one is a pen, uh, which is also removable by friction, because they have the same uh, end to them. 
So um, you're able to erase the pen as well, by all accounts. So, so that's those guys. Uh, the, 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 you know, they're nothing major. The colours are lovely. Um, I agree with that, Great. You can't, you can't, um, you know, I would never just come on and think, oh, somebody's on, I'll, I'll start streaming. Uh, I would always, uh, I would always check that it's okay. And, um, you know, I, I would never be disrespectful like that to anybody. But of course, if she's streaming at this time and she did it before me, then she should have told me when I asked if I could have the slot. Um, but if she's always streamed at this time, then that's fine. But I did, I took uh, Nia's uh, slot as well. Um, so, you know, in that case, Nia, Nia was uh, streaming over the top as well. Anyway, Mark, do you like coming back? Yeah, I've got a couple of them uh, from recently. Um, okay, Mousy. Is it not on the schedule, Sean? Thank you, Nana. Thank you. <sighs> okay, guys, right. So um, moving on to the next little uh, thing we got. Um, was what was it? It was this. So this is a three pack of uh, glitter markers, which Pickle will probably like. And the colours on these are called the Northern Lights. Why would I? I, I I'm apologising, uh, Marika, because I sensed a little bit of anger in the uh, in the statement, as though I was. Uh, you know, as that as though I was um, offending somebody. That's that's why I'm apologising. Um, if that's not the case, then that's fine. Uh, but you know, I didn't even know uh, until the other week that we were on at the same time. Um, uh, but I have spoke to her about it, and um, she she's fine about it. So I don't know why other people are worried about it. So these are uh, what they call Northern Lights. They're a funny shape marker, these guys. Uh, they, they look a bit like um, a chess piece. Uh, they've got that kind of uh, vibe of a pawn to them, or one of the chess pieces anyway. No, you can't please everyone, and that's, that's obviously become evident today, but uh, there's nothing I can do about that. Like I said, this this the earlier slot up until five o'clock um, was was Nia's slot, and I asked her if I could have it, and she said, "Yeah, fine." Um, so I just thought I would just take in Nia's, Nia's slot from her. Um, anyway. Thank you, Mark. Really, I am doing Marika, don't worry about it. Thanks for your help, love. Um, so these are Nouveau uh, markers, glitter markers, smooth, flowing uh, glitter marker gel. So let's have a look at them. I'll just write the, write the title in first so we know what we're dealing with. The Nouveau glitter markers. Yeah, exactly, Grace. So let's have these a pump action one. I may well be. Let me, uh, yep. Yeah. I should be good at this. <laughs> Come on, guys. Dev, you, can you show the packaging for them when you can? Yep, yeah, not a problem. I will be putting links up though, Michelle, as well. Uh, what did I do with the packaging? There we go. So the packaging is like that. 
uh, which is like a, a sort of an oval shaped package and what it does have it uh, these this is actually really rough so i'm presuming that's going to be the texture of the swatch shake it good okay No, I didn't think so, Sean. So let me get. Thank you, Christine. It's taking some coming through, is this? <laughs> Come on. Yeah, exactly, Grace. I think it's starting to come, guys. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Trace. Let me get my little paddy here just in case we need it. We have action. So this one is Purple Passion. So that is Purple Passion. Dev, scroll up to my comment. Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, I, I I discussed it with her, Sean, and she never said a word uh, that that I was uh, streaming over the top. Of 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 you know that it was anything untoward, um, which I kind of find a bit weird. But ultimately, um, ultimately, nobody owns YouTube, do they? Uh, you know, I don't stream very often as it is, uh, and I, ch I I I change from a Friday evening because I was letting people down um to a sunday so that i could i i knew that i could um you know commit to a sunday um which is the why i changed from a friday to a sunday uh because of my commitments with work um but yeah i i don't try and stream over anybody with disrespect i would never do that obviously charlotte's got to be in a bonnet about something um uh, but that that's that's you know that's clearly up to her what she does with with uh, somebody else's business i don't think april will have told her to say that because april said nothing to me no i think that as well that's true as well christine we do have different audiences that's right so probably she was just coming on to show her courage, maybe. I don't know.
Oh, she's been asked to come on, one of the two. Right. Uh, Venetian Jade, guys, we have now. Thank you, Aloria. Venetian Jade. Uh, and not to not to forget to mention, guys, that these are uh, Northern Lights colours. Yeah, that's what I just said, Beth, and I think that's what it is. I think that's what it is, to be honest. Um, and you, you obviously using um, April as a as a way to uh, express her disliking for me. Which is more than fine. I shall lose zero sleep over it. And I give zero Fs about it. Okay. And then the last one. <laughs> Agreed. Some people just like to stay up trouble. I, I, do, you know, do you know, Grace? That is one of the truest things you've ever said. Hello, Caroline. Nice of you to join us. There are a few, uh, Shara, believe it or not. Uh, Beth, I'm kind of new to your channel, so I have to ask where you are from. Uh, I am from, uh, obviously, the UK, uh, but I'm from uh, a county called Yorkshire, and I'm in the west part of West Yorkshire. Uh, I'm in the west part of Yorkshire. So my county is West Yorkshire, and the town I live in is called Huddersfield. They are gorgeous colours, aren't they? Yeah. And when I get this raspberry tart working, I think we're going to be uh, liking it even more. It looks a beautiful colour, guys. Your dad's from Huddersfield, Mish. Wow. It's a great town. Yep, yeah, I agree, Zoe. Yorkshire people are really welcoming and uh, honest people. So here we go, guys. Raspberry tart. Beautiful. What's happening here? No, that, that's fine, that, Kim. It's fine. So, raspberry tart. So you just get the three in the pack, guys. Uh, I'm streaming until seven, uh, which is an hour and 20 minutes away. And um, and then Christine will be on, who's in the, who's in the uh, chat at the moment. Yeah, Nouveau Glitter Marcus, Sean. That's what they are, mate. Thank you. Yeah, they're really cool. Thanks, Gary. Venetian Jade, Purple Passion, and Raspberry Tart. So that's that's those just those three guys. Obviously, if I get any more, I'll be able to add them, uh, you know, onto the swatch page. Um, but that's what we have for those three, which I'm just going to keep them all in here as loose markers. Uh, the next one I've got is also a three-pack and a Nouveau. 
I might keep it on the same uh, swatch page, actually. Bearing in mind there's only three on there. These are called the fair skin tones. Now, there's a dark skin tone set. And they haven't come yet. Now, these were really uh, inexpensive. So here we have uh, we have the, the very oddly shaped again. Uh, the kind of like a, <laughs> I don't want to say actually, but these have uh, two nibs. We have the fine point there, and then we have the the chisel tip at the other end. Um, and there's just the three colours, which I'm just going to write on the same page. It's pointless uh, starting a new one. Yeah, of course I will, uh, Mark. Not a problem. So these, are, I'll just write skin tones in here. So we know that we're separating the uh, markers with them being the same brand. So we have Sweet Vanilla. I think that's a good name. We have Apricot Blush. And we have Sandcastle. So the sandcastle kind of looks like this. Oh, these are, uh, I don't know if glidey is the right word, but they're very um, glidey. That's the word I wanted to <laughs> mention. Glidey. The sweet vanilla. That's a lovely colour, that sweet vanilla. It's almost like a cream beige colour. Uh, and then the sandcastle. And then the last one is apricot blush. So I need to put the uh, sweet vanilla back in its right place. Bye, Beth. Thanks for joining. Uh, and Sand Castle. <laughs> Welcome to the Saucy Sunday Show with Dev as our host. Yeah, you know what I mean, Christine. Yeah, I, I know it's probably not a word, but yeah, that's that's exactly how I uh, described it. So those are the the other three nouveaux I've got. So I've got the. Uh, the Northern Lights triple pack here, which are those colours there, and then the triple pack of light skin tones, or actually fair skin tones as they call them, uh, on that one. Uh, the next thing I want to show you is uh, a pack of Uniball Signos. Now these, uh, I did, Sean, I did look. <laughs> these are the uniball signos uh there are eight in this pack and they are the metallic series these were on sale as well uh, and like i said oh uh, do you have these pickle i hope they're good
<laughs> Shout out. <laughs> are these your favourite? Are they great? Oh, good. I'm glad. So let's go on to a new page, guys. So these are the Uniball Signals. Metallic. <clears throat> uh, let's see if these have names. Yes, they do. These are, uh, this is the red. So of course they have the metallic element to them. I'm not colouring in full uh, full boxes for the swatches and wasting all that ink. So that's the red. By the way, they are nice, aren't they, Robin? This is the gold one, gold metallic one. That's a lovely uh, effect that that gives off. I haven't got that Winter Wonderland one, no. Hi, Cassie. So this is the gold. Always use protection, yeah. Uh, this is the silver. They are good, I must admit. Uh, they were a very, very reasonable price. I think they were five pounds for eight. Yeah, well, keep it clean if you can, guys. <laughs> it's all right being dirty-minded. <laughs> this one is bronze. That's a lovely, uh, a lovely colour. That bronze, I must, I must say. It's a pity we didn't have these uh, in the metallic march, guys, because uh, these are really, really uh, metallic. Which I'll show you close up after. Um, this is the blue. There's no posh names here, guys, with these. So that's the blue. <laughs> this is quite obviously the green. green not a problem Mish anytime thanks for joining us uh, this is the violet this is the, the poshish name of the lot they haven't used purple which I predicted but they haven't But they are really uh, vivid and um, 
easily uh, easily used uh, they're quite juicy uh, and as you probably know with the signo uh, they're quite precise as well so if you press on too hard with them you will scratch your paper uh, but if you get the glide going you know there's no need to press on and that's the pink so i'll just write those in guys and then uh, i will bring it up to the camera for you so the violet and the pink let me turn the uh, auto focus on juicy that's the juicy well, yeah, i sound like uh someone on a soap opera what was that me Percy. Some on Coronation Street. Anyway, so we have uh, these wonderful array of eight colours. Um, very easily named, so you won't forget any of these, that's for sure. Uh, we have the red, the gold, the silver, bronze, blue, green, violet, and our pinky pink pink. They do lay down nicely, Michelle. Um but I, when I've used signals before, if you press on too hard, it scratches your paper and leaves like a, a groove. Uh, and we don't want no grooves in our papers, do we? Um, oh, the butcher from Cory, that's it, yeah. So um, we have eight colours there. Uh, the lay down's really good. Uh, I can recommend them, not that they need recommending. Uh, so that's another thing that we've looked at. Um, anyone need a coffee? I'm heading downstairs for a refill. Becky, you have read my mind. Uh, I actually do want a coffee. Oh, you're back, Sandy. That's lovely. Wonder how long ink lasts. Mm, good point, uh, Randy. That is actually a, a good point. I am on that note, we have uh, an hour left. So I'm going to get my refill and get my cup of tea. Dev, that was creepy. What? That was creepy. We're never talking like that. <laughs> Dev, you should do different voices all the way through your stream. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're so bad, Paul, you know. You're all so bad. So what we're going to do next, guys, uh, so that we I can show you what we've got coming, we have the Crayola Pip Squeaks Mini Markers to swatch out. We have um, a really nice book that I came across, which is really small. Now let me turn auto focus off. <laughs> it's a really small book it's not meant to be a coloring book but i'm turning it into one because it's so cute but not only that as you can see it guys look at the images in here they're all uh they're all sketches but some wonderful images and if you keep to pencil this will look beautiful uh as a collected uh colored book so we'll, we'll go through that roughly. Uh, and then we've got a pack of uh, touch markers, skin tones to look at, a couple of packs of Tombows. And then the one I'm excited about more than anything is this 36 count of watercolor pens. Now, these were the most expensive that I bought with the affiliate money, but they were only 25 quid for 36. And um, that's re very, very reasonable. That's like, what, uh, about $32 for 36 watercolour pens. Um, Acid-free, non-toxic, high-quality watercolour ink. So I'm looking forward to swatching them. Uh, and like I said, they are definitely in the sale at the moment, and they're a really good price. And yes, Morticia, you're right. Everything will be added at the end. So um, let me find my sign from Akathy. 
Well, I still haven't found it. It's in with my piles of books. So I will be back uh, in about two minutes and we'll carry on with the swatching and uh, opening our new stuff, guys. Shambhala. I'm back guys thank you for holding on for me uh, I've got my um, I'll just show you here I've got my chewy cup 
So he is uh, watching us all while we colour and swatch. Hey, Rebel Girl, Christina, how are you doing, love? Nice of you to join us. Really nice of you to join us. Uh, I'm just going to, I've had a message. Um, a nasty message. <laughs> oh, well. Um, and then we've also had uh, a message just to cover the Kirby books differences. Now, this is not saying stone by any means because I've not seen the US version. Uh, but what we can say so far, uh, with the help of Sandy and Anne, is that the colour is the colour's different on the cover. The cover is shiny as opposed to matte. The paper is brilliant white as opposed to off white. And we're still not sure about the amount of colouring images there are in the book. The one I have is extremely thick, um, but I've not counted the pages and they're not numbered. So that's just a brief. Uh, um, it's the end of the month, uh, Christina, so plenty of time yet. Uh, sorry to be a pain, but does anyone want some snow? Uh, no, thanks, Michelle. It's cold enough as it is. Um, so we we did we just did the Uniball signals, guys. Um, and now I'm going to do. Uh, these here, which haven't got a box. Uh, how have we done these already? Let's have a look. Creole of Multicultural, Stabilo Cabothello. Don't think we have. No, we haven't. So these are the Koi colouring brush pen, skin tones. The Sakura Koi. Um, and I have a funny feeling no, they've got colour names on as well. Okay, so the Sakura Koi. Koi skin set. Hi, Heather. <clears throat> nice of you to join us. So I'll try and go light to dark, although the caps don't always give you that information. But we start off with a colour called Naples Yellow. Hi, Patty. So Naples yellow, uh, brushed on with this wonderful tip. Looks like that, guys. So that's beautiful. That is really nice. If you do get these, be careful when you put the cap back on because you can damage the brush. I nearly caught it then. So just as a bit of uh, info, nice, isn't it, Nana? Yeah, they're lovely, these Sakuras. Um, this one is the Woody Brown. Woody Brown. Because they say it like that in Scotland. It's Woody Brown. That's what we would kind of call either a tan colour or, a, or a, a yellow ochre. A bit darker than yellow ochre, but that's an, a really nice colour too. Then we have the dark brown. Oh, thank you, Nana. Yeah, it seems like I'm getting a bit of grief for this uh, 
this April thingy. Uh, I will uh, message you later and apologise. If I've uh, if I've offended her, that is. But it's been so long now. I wonder why it's only just come to uh, fruition now. It's been at least three or four months that I've, uh, you know, been doing it at this time. And like I said, uh, some of it was from near near stream anyway. So this is fuchsia. Make sure I spell this right. <laughs> yeah. You could easily spell that wrong and get in trouble. <laughs> yeah, I agree, Michelle. I, I don't think so either, Charlotte. I, I don't think so. I did have a conversation with her not only less than a fortnight ago about it. She was fine. I think people are just uh, just being small-minded, aren't they? Pale orange next, guys. Pale orange. These are uh, the Sakura Koi skin set, uh, Debs. I'll show you the barrel of the pen in a minute. This pale orange is lovely. Although it's not orange, it's pink. <laughs> but it's still lovely colour. Hmm. So that's what the pens look like. Loretta. Uh, sorry, Mousy Deb. Uh, they're quite a small pen, and the brush looks like that. It's a really well-made tip, is that. Uh, now, the tip does look pale orange, but I can assure you that the the swatch is not. Yeah, maybe, Anne. Maybe. In fact, you're probably right, love. But uh, <clears throat> coral red. So that's the six Sakura Koi. Um, I know they are, aren't they? Proper dramatic. I don't have the colour Koi. It's just clear for water. But yeah. Um, I, I, I also think, just to add to that, I think some people like to be negative. The cat, the, you know, some people enjoy, uh, I think is a better word enjoy being negative because that's what their personality is negative so you know it doesn't bother me it's I, you know I, I just brush it off it's uh, it's up to them what they think okay guys so these are the touch twin markers uh, now it says twin so I presume we've got two different nibs I'll show you what they are in a minute I get them out. Uh, it doesn't say on the box that I can find, but look at the ensemble of colours you can buy in the touch. There are 204 colours swatched there. Thanks, Ashley. Yeah, we'll just ignore them. I've had to get rid of somebody else on the stream before it even started because she's just a known trouble causer. Uh, and you know, the type that if you've been to Tenerife, she's been to 11 a reef, you know, that type. So, um, she's not coming on anymore either. I don't want any crap on this stream, I just want it to just want 
people people do theirs and then just leave leave me to do mine and that's as simple as that uh so yeah 204 hot colors uh, are available in these markers uh this is the skin tone set and there are six of them um now on here it doesn't explain the nibs but it soon that's not a problem because i'll soon be able to tell you so we have a medium broad tip on these guys yeah it is a happy group here king of the skin tones i know the reason why though uh grace is i mentioned it earlier on the stream um i've got the skin tones because if people obviously i can't afford to buy the full sets of everything so rather than just buy single you know open stock i thought well if i get a small set like the skin tones of, of each one not only can you tell if the decent markers by that by those colors uh it's also handy to have as as a as a standalone set you know rather than just buying a, a green a blue and a pink or whatever so these are individually wrapped which is why i couldn't get the lid off <laughs> So we have the medium broad tip, which is the chisel. Pretty box standard for most markers nowadays. And then we have the fine. Okay, so I'll only be using the, oh no, it's a, a, a chisel tip and a brush. So we have brushes again. So that's excellent. We like the brushes, don't we guys? And Shannon's going to be happy. Oh, no, she's not. <laughs> They're right on the top. <laughs> so the first one we have is Pastel Peach. So these are the Touch uh, Twin Skin Markers. Hi, Shara. <laughs> Sorry, uh, Shannon. So the first one is uh, Pastel Peach. So we'll put some of that down. Oh, now these brushes are very, very flimsy in so much that they are not rigid at all. So they're difficult to control, if I'm honest. That doesn't detract from the fact that they are nice markers and nice colours so far. So the pastel peach. That's the first one. Uh, and then we have. I've got to do this every time, guys. Garlic bread. Uh, not very long now, Sharon. Uh, just got some minor bits and bats to sort out. And then I'm going to do it. They could be, Louise. Um, I think they are, because afterwards they brought out the Touch 5s and the Touch, you know, the Touch 1 and 2s and can't touch this and whatever they were called. Uh, but... These are just the box standard touch, and I think they are the expensive ones from original. Uh, so this one is the uh, the pale cherry pink. So pale cherry pink, and we have. These brushes are absolutely incredibly soft, um, which lends for the kind of swoop uh, action. You can't really get a rigid line with them. But I'll tell you what, the colours are beautiful.
Yeah, I, I think what happened was they brought the touch out, didn't they? And then they, they brought, you know, people were latching on to that and then brought out the touch, the touch new and the touch fives and the touch whatever else. So, yeah, you can't deny the quality of these, that's for sure. Um, you know, they're very well presented uh, in the wrapping and, uh, you know, in the box. They look attractive. So, there we are. So, this one is the... Um, the powder pink, okay. So you have to be very light and swoosh it with your action because if you press down to get a rigid line, you, you can't control the brush. But I'll tell you what, the actual... Uh, the actual final result is uh, really nice. Hi, Isabel. The other end is a chisel, Shannon. So I won't be swatching that because there's not much room, but uh, I can show it, you, love. Just hang on. So that is the that's the other end. It's the chisel kind of uh, tip, but it's not the small one. It's it's quite a it's quite a broad one. Is that? So we've done the powder pink. I need to write that in. And then next we have the the baby skin pink okay if i'd have known these were individually wrapped i would have done it before the stream guys so i do apologize for the faffing the faffing about i'm not so sure about that sean I'd put the Lamo shirt with with those two for ink. These are the best tones that I've seen so far uh, today. They are simply wonderful tones, but quite difficult to control. Baby skin pink. Uh, yes, they are, um, Melody. They are that make, Sh Shinhan. Yes, they are. Thanks for uh, adding that to it. Yeah, everyone's got their own opinions, aren't they, Grace? I'm not that like, keen on the... Uh, Um, the pro markers. I, I find them a bit scratchy and a bit harsh on the paper. But maybe just that's me. This is the uh, fruit pink.
these are very good markers these are the ones that all the others copied yeah i i can tell that now melody by the quality of the packaging and everything else so You never do anything wrong, Robin. And then the nice last one, guys is the skin white i don't think you can louise i tried to get them a bit ago uh i think i was watching um i think it was on on the colorful wife and i had a look trying to find the cali arts and i couldn't find full time two nil who got second one gary and do you know the assists Yeah, Belinda's awesome with markers. Mo Salah got the second. That's good news. Do you know who got the assists? Yeah, he is, Jane. <laughs> Which uh, I thanked him for last week because I, I missed the football because I'm streaming with you guys. Thank you, Gary. So uh, the last one is Skin White. So as you can imagine, this is the palest of the lot. It's almost, well, it's almost nothing. It's a, it's a very, very incredibly pale skin tone. No, I'm not saying that at all, uh, Sean. You said the same thing. <laughs> Oh dear. Don't be giving other people ideas to complain about me. Bloody hell. So, guys, let me uh, turn the autofocus on for you. So, you'll see what I mean now about these colours, guys. They're very, very professional looking shades of those. As you can see, uh, they're, they're all very similar but different. Um, well worth every penny, Caroline. No, I didn't think they did, Dan. I, I tried to get some Cali Arts, but I couldn't get any. I've always wanted to try them, but I, I think it was Anne's I was watching and. Uh, So they are really nice colours. Uh, I'm impressed with that. And I'm impressed with the the packaging and the professionality of the pens. And then obviously Melody's just uh, able to inform me why. Uh, you know, I didn't do any research into these. Like I said, I was buying small sets with the affiliate money so that we could try them out. And these were on sale. Uh, I think these were 16 or 15 pounds. Uh, uh, the person who's messaging me will he stop messaging me please uh, I have no interest in what you've got to say and I would like you to leave my channel thank you <clears throat> so those are the uh those are the touch markers. Um, oh, is it really uh, sold? All right, so we've... Thank you, Gary. Right, that's that's excellent then. Um, 
So, yeah, I am impressed with these. It would have been better. <clears throat> I mean, you can't always have what you want, can you? But it would have been better um, if it had the brush and a, and a, a normal fiber point. Um, no, you are all right, Cheryl. I'll tell you about it after. I have done, and that's why they keep messaging me. Uh, so, um, I've lost my train of thought now. Uh, yeah. So, I'll put the autofocus back. Off. There we go. No, I ain't got them, Grace. Uh, the black ones have nib and chisel. Ah, excellent melody. Uh, I, I am actually really impressed with these. Shinhan Art. Uh, and they are, I, I really like the tones. I think the tones are magnificent, if I'm honest. Uh, so, yeah, impressed with those. Uh, but you can tell that they're a little bit a step apart from the others that we've shown so far. Uh, so I'm really, really, uh, yeah, you can get refills for these, can't you, Melody? Yeah, it does say on here, actually. Uh, but these, I showed this at the beginning. This is an ensemble of 204 swatches, guys, all with the cords on. So you can imagine what that set would, uh, would look like. Um, I might have to look into that. Uh, at a later date, uh, but I am happy with these. Uh, it says they're made in Korea, uh, and they are artist quality. Um, and it also says that they are they have uh, an ergonomic design for the perfect grip. They have a flexible, resilient brush nib and a broad chisel tip for all types of designs. Uh, they have the highest quality ink uh, spread over 204 colours. And um, they're called the Brush Twin Markers. So, yes, first time I've ever seen them, first time I've ever used them, and uh, absolutely uh, really, really like them. Um, so I'll have to look into those later. Uh, that's the good thing about buying a sample set, isn't it? It's, um, you know, it gives you the chance to see... Uh, you know, it gives you the chance to see uh, what sets are without having to, um, you know, go and buy the whole set. So I can't wait for these guys. So we're going to move straight on to these. Uh, discovering colouring with Danny. There's a professional artist, me, you, who has used them for a 100 colour challenge. Oh, really? Thank you, Danny. Can you draw a big... Oh. That's gone. Thank you, uh, Mary. Not a problem. So, uh, thanks, Sean. <laughs> so these are the, the door craft. I'll write it down so you can see it written out. Door craft. Artiste, watercolor, marker, thanks babes, thanks for your comments babes. <laughs> You take the triangle off. Oh, you take the triangle off and it turns into a. Oh, wow, how cool is this? So the triangle is a Velcro reversed case. That's cool. That is really cool. So this is how they come, guys. Uh, they're on sale at the moment. These are about £25 for 36 markers. I'll get one out to start with. So, like I said, they are the Doorcraft Artiste. Uh, they're, they're quite a small pen, I will say that. They're dual-tipped, and they are described as having high-quality watercolour ink, and they are acid-free. 
they have a, a small brush on one side. Perf my perfect combo for me. They have the fine nylon tip, rigid colouring kind of style nib, and then a brush. So let's get cracking with these. Let me just chuck that away. Sorry about the noise. Uh, I don't know if Shannon's going to be in any luck here. Oh, do you know what, Shannon? <laughs> you've, you've absolutely nailed it because... What, what, why is it funny that I'm publicising that uh, you're messaging me? You're interrupting a stream. I haven't said who you are. You're a known trouble causer, and I don't want you anywhere near my stream. Thank you. That's all I'm asking. So show the same respect back and leave me alone. Okay, guys. So um, these are the uh, the dual tip pens, and there's no colour names whatsoever. None at all. So we're going to have to come up with names for these, which I'm sure Shanna will be happy with. Okay, Christine, not a problem. So we have a um, a brush nib. Which I'll do a small square here. And then with the the other part. Um, is a rigid kind of uh, felt pen kind of nib. I don't think we're going to have time to do all these guys. So I'll, on that first one, I'm going to leave it um, purely because um, we... we We've only got 25 minutes left, and um, we're not going to be able to finish. So what I suggest we do is go on over to watch Christine and her wonderful channel. And um, what we can do then is, um, I'll just get this folded correctly, guys, for you. So yeah, and they come in this handy kind of pouch once you've got to grips with how it uh, how it kind of works. These are Loretta the Doorcraft Artiste watercolor markers. I've just done the first one, uh, but we're not going to have time to finish those. Um, With water, there's nothing, uh, Christina. Uh, it just means that you can add water to it if you wanted to, uh, you know, by using something porous, like I cut out these uh, plastic squares last time. You know, you can transfer the ink onto there, add a bit of water onto your brush, and you can use it that way. Uh, you just can't do that with alcohol. Uh, the, al the alcohol obviously is uh, much more prominent and permanent than water. Thirteen dislikes. No, nah, it's always like that, uh, Sean. But it will be over a hundred likes in the end, so I don't care. Okay, then, guys, I'm going to leave you all to it. Um, thanks for joining me. Thanks for watching the Kirby book. Um, let's carry on annoying these people, and um, we will speak soon. And then what we can do next time, uh, I'm going to try and use these. I'm going to swatch these brushes, um, and then hopefully we can see the different textures that they perform with uh, and then we'll be able to see whether they are Ooh, I'm glad you answered that one dev didn't know the answer 
So thank you everybody for joining. Thank you everybody for your patience while I uh, had uh, a break and got a cup of tea. Uh, we are going to try these next time. Uh, I'll think of something to use with them. I think I'll use the uh, RTs of gouache uh, in in uh, to use with these. Bearing in mind, I've got quite a lot of it. Oh, I'm fine, Rona. Don't don't you worry. I'm absolutely one hundred percent fine. So it's not a problem, guys. Uh, and I will speak to you all soon. And um, we can move on here to the next one, and then the next one, and the next one. It's been absolutely fantastic to speak to you all. And um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have my cup of tea and then I'm going to put the links on later this evening uh, and then I'm going to watch Christine. So thank you, everybody, and uh, I'll speak to you all soon. Oh, yes, the image of the week. Oh, man. Okay. Let's have a look. Image of the week is. Let's have a look at the winner. Do you know what? I'm going to announce that on Tuesday purely because I've not even picked a prize out. So I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to. Thanks for reminding me, everybody. Uh, I don't want to. Um, tell somebody they've won and I ain't got anything to show them. I have to uh, look through the books. Oh, sorry, Monica. Yeah, I've, 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 rem I've remembered, Dan, but I ain't got the, um, I ain't got a prize ready. Hang on, let me just make sure we... I might be able to find the one that I had in mind. If you saw the piles of books here, guys, you'd realise what I was on about. There we go. <coughs> da, 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 da. Do, 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 do. Oh man. Oh man. Okay. <laughs> okay guys so the prize this week is uh for a coloring planner for 2019 this is called the coloring book of shadows by amy cesare and as you can see it's a wonderful journal uh it's got lots of little nice colorings in the cover is uh uh, like a satin um, and you know uh, there's a lot of different colorings here uh, obviously with March just finishing and April starting we have Easter um, images here um, I will always watch whether you like it so much fun Love you making an ass of yourself. Great entertainment. That's nice, isn't it? So, yeah, the um, the images in here obviously indicate Easter for the April uh, thing. And then we move on to May. So look what the... Not the green man again. <laughs> He's here again. Thank you. <laughs> so, 
so uh yeah that's the prize guys it's quite a nice journal uh it's got lots of different stuff in it um so yeah i really really enjoyed it so i'm going to now announce the winner which was done on my facebook i think it was done this time as opposed to uh the usual instagram uh winners so just make sure that i'm not <laughs> showing you uh images i shouldn't be uh my bleeding uh my heart bleeds and then we go to okay come on load up name and shame uh that's not my style as a rule uh but i'm sure you can all work it out as i've already said it's a known trouble causer <laughs> So we move on to, uh, I'm trying to get a hold of my Facebook group, but it's not loading for some reason. Try again. It's not loading up, I can't go past that look. not going past that image can anybody else get into my uh facebook group i'm okay thanks bro how are you doing it won't let me shannon i can't even load the group up fully i'll try and go to photos oh hang on good lass you've managed to uh sort it for me all right was it that one? The artist has put about three different images in in one go. Oh, dear me. I think it was this one. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Did it? We're just looking at that fox that uh, Karen did with the uh, with the inks. Wow! Now that is a good image. I can't find it, guys. I don't think. I am going into each one. Was it this one? Yes, found it. Now, who's done it? <laughs> oh, Caroline, Caroline Hartimink. I think that's how you pronounce it. This is the image. Uh, it was done with chameleon markers. And uh, I think it's pronounced Hartimink, uh, which is H-A-R-T-E-M-I-N-K. Uh, I'm not sure if it's one of our usual uh, Carolines. I know it's not Caroline Hopkins because I know her name. What's that, Sean? Sorry, mate, I missed that. Yeah, it's a lovely one, isn't it? Um, but I'm not sure which Caroline it is. Um, but I'm sure that somebody will get in touch with me uh, and let me know. Oh, does she stream, Nana? Okay. That's even better. Uh, so if somebody wants to send me um, its colour with Caroline, is it? Okay. Excellent. 
Caroline was asking why people are so mean. Yeah, unfortunately, I think a lot of it's jealousy, uh, Sean. Uh, you know, I am going to make, <laughs> I am tempted at the moment to, to name a few, but I'm not going to resort to that level. So I'm just going to, uh... oh, thank you, Becky. So I'm not going to resort to that. I, I will never create uh, arguments in a stream like some people. Thanks, Morticia. Yeah, it, it's a lot. It's really, really well done. Is this one? The, there's another one of the same one, uh, but not done by her. But that that's definitely the winning one. Yeah, I guess it is, Sean. You know. I'm not going to do great. I, 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 you know, as far as I'm concerned, it's all done with. Uh, April Sarah has just messaged me, guys, uh, and I'm all right to put this out because she's just saying that uh, she never thought it was an issue and um, and that she wants to apologise for what people have said. So I think we already knew that, didn't we? Because she's lovely as April. Uh, we already knew uh, that uh, she wouldn't have an issue with it, and we knew that it would be something else uh, behind it, didn't we? So, of course, um, hello, coloured by Caroline. Uh, what's your surname, Caroline? Oh, is that her, Becky? Thank you so much. Not a problem, uh, Caroline. You've won this colouring book of shadows, which is a... Uh, 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 a colouring planner. It's by Amy Cesare. Uh, it's a lovely little book. It's um, It's got lots of images at the start of the month that signify that we're going into that month, such as uh, rabbits and Easter eggs for uh, April. Uh, and then obviously when you move down the line uh, to September, we've got uh, bonfire. Oh, sorry, we've got the um, Halloween stuff. Uh, and then October, we've got the Halloween stuff, sorry. And then uh, December, we have the Christmas stuff. And then during each month and each day, we have plenty of different little bits and bats to uh, to colour. But not only that, it's, um, it's, it's a nice little lined book that you can, um, you know, keep, keep your documents and thoughts together. Um, on the end of each month, it has intuition, reflection, important things and goals that you can fill in ready for the next month so it's a little bit something a little bit different to um you know your standard coloring book so i hope you like it caroline your image was fantastic and um and congratulations for uh for, for winning uh if you want to send me an email one of my mods will give you my email address i'm pretty sure that uh Morticia will be already on it um, excuse me, guys. Well, I took a drink of that. There we go. <laughs> Thanks, Mort. Uh, so, if you want to email me, Carolina, on that address um, uh, with your details, I can get that book sent out for you. Um, it's been a lovely stream. So, thank you very much again, everybody. Uh, don't forget to uh, move across to Christine's. Um, and then we'll speak, be able to speak to Christine and uh, have a lovely chat across there. So thanks, thanks once again, and I'll see you all on Tuesday evening. Thank you. Bye-bye.